right? We must develop socialism in one country, like in Russia, like a self-sufficient economy, local life, production for the... You all are good. If you have any query from the last class or the previous class, any previous class, you may ask. Today we will talk about Orthodox Marxism. Today we will talk about Orthodox Marxism or this is also called you know, revolutionary Marxist. Revolutionary Marxism. In the last class, we talked about, you know, evolutionary Marxism. Evolutionary Marxism. We saw that how Marxism or the socialism, evolutionary socialism, you can say, right? Evolutionary socialism, right? And we saw that, you know, socialism as an alternative socio economic order was already there, already there before Marx. And they were, their process was their method was different from Karl Marx, right? The early socialists were called ethical socialists, right? And when Marx come into the picture, when Marx started, you know, writing and knowing the nature of capitalism, and he started interpreting history, you know, historical materialism history. Now, even then, during Marx time, there was many people who did not believe in the revolutionary method to achieve socialism, right? And they, you know, basically carried uh, ethical socialism or evolutionary socialism. They said that non-violent method would be the appropriate method. And we saw that in evolutionary nationalism, we have talked about Fabian socialism. We already talked about Fabian Socialism and we talked about, you know, Revisionism. We talked about Guild Socialism. And we also talked about Syndicalism. This all were evolutionary socialism. Now today we will focus on more, you know, orthodox Marxism or revolutionary socialism, right? We know that when I taught you Karl Marx, I taught you certain Marxism after the Marx, right? And we saw that, you know, Marx and Angel and Angel proposed revolution, you know, Revolution as a method to change the capitalism, right? And this, you know, Marx's idea was carried forward by many philosophers. Like, if you look at, you know, Leon Trotsky, Karl Korsky, Rosa Luxemburg, Lenin, Gramsci, Stalin, Mao in China, Basically, they all, you know, carry forward the Marxism. And if you look at the orthodox Marxism or revolutionary Marxism, why they are called Marxism? Because they believe in Marx and Angel idea. That's why, otherwise you can say the revolutionary socialist. 
you can rename it revolutionary socialism no idea because since marx proposed that revolution should be the method to achieve socialism that's why it's called orthodox marxism now if you look at orthodox marxist gave importance to marx and angel idea right what was the marx and angel idea like historical materialism class struggle dialectical materialism right surplus value economic determinism right so if you look at orthodox marxist focused on the karl marx and angels scientific socialism right so they believe they believed in if you look at all revolutionary socialists believed in marx and angel idea of you know dialectical materialism historical materialism economic determinism surplus value class struggle and especially there should be violent method right the capitalism should be overthrown by violence this was basically the revolutionary marxist and if i talk about who were the person then after death of marx karl kotsky right i have taught you karl kotsky after you know when i taught you karl marx then after karl kotsky there was a you know um for example leon trotsky or rosa luxemburg right then there was a lenin lenin became famous famous very famous why is it so because lenin was a leader of october revolution 1917 in russia so if you look at lenin version become very popular because you know successful person always praised always admired and their method is celebrated by many so lenin become very popular right so you know if you look at mao mao become very popular because mao led to the successful transformation of china right so mao lenin if you look at stalin stalin was very famous why stalin was very famous because you know stalin established socialism uh, in russia and he actually you know become superpower if you look at during his time russia become superpower if you look at russia was not affected by the great depression in 1929 in russia everything was owned by the state and during his time there was no unemployment everyone was employed male female everyone during his time right so he also theorized marxism in different way so if you look at after death of marx many philosopher right like lenin mao stalin right interpreted you know just just changed little bit but their major belief was dialectical materialism historical materialism class struggle right you the world of the workers be united like marx has said na duniya ke mazdoor ek ho jao right varg sangharsh class struggle right the historical materialism history is nothing but a condition of material economic factor so basically this word the philosopher now here we need to study about lenin stalin and mao right we will bring karl kotsky rosa luxemburg leon trotsky in our analysis of course i'll tell you about leon trotsky a lot right so this is uh, you know orthodox marxism now we will move one by one tell me anything doubt you have till now shavinder lal
Lal, are you doing? Uh, are you attempting each class regularly? Whenever you mess, do you watch recorded one? That is very important, right? We should not miss the class. Otherwise, you know, you can't get connection. Anupama, I'm making sense. Shahil, about the orthodox Marxist, revolutionary Marxism. What was, what do you mean by revolutionary Marxism? Right, revolutionary Marxism believed in Karl Marx and Engel idea that revolution can be brought only by the revolution. They believed in Marx's interpretation of dialectical materialism, historical materialism, class struggle, and Marx's analysis of capitalism. Right. And most importantly, they all st strongly believe that socialism can be brought only by violence. The violence is very much a means to achieve socialism. Right? That's why they are called evolutionary socialism. But if you look at the evolutionary one, they believe that violence is not necessary. Right? Non-violence is a link. Each form of, you know, evolutionary socialism believed in a very much non-violent resistance, right? Of course, थोड़ा छोटा मोटा balance तो आ ही जाएगा जब syndicalism को आप देखेंगे तो. But largely they believed in non-violent method to achieve socialism, and they offered, you know, a moral critique to socialism, right? Different method they have. already offered and we have already talked about now let me talk about lenin vladimir ivanovich lenin a great revolutionary great revolutionary not only he his his brother was also great revolutionary who had been jailed most of his life time now if you look at you know bradley made lenin was heading what was the his party name what was his party name he was a founder of which party tell me bolshevik party very good very good now he was a founder of Bolshevik Party, right? He was founder of Bolshevik Party, and when he founded this Bolshevik Party, there was many person like Leon Trotsky was the you know his fellow. Stalin was many people you know favored him, right? Founder to E Q likha raha hai F O. Yeah, he was a founder of. the bolshevik party now if you look at 1917 he led a great revolution called october revolution it was a very successful revolution in russia the entire world you know become surprised Look at this was the first world war. This was a period of first world war. World war was not ended yet. Marx had predicted revolution for the Europe. If you look at Marx and Engel, both were German. Marx and Engel had predicted had prediction about revolution. in industrial society in industrial industrial society like france uk belgium germany right 
they thought that revolution will come here because working class was the majority and the capitalism was a system of exploitation and oppression and the working class will you know consolidate and this will they, they will launch a revolution and would establish dictatorship of the proletariat now look at the revolution did not take place in industrial society like france uk and belgium germany why did so of course answer was provided by gramsci gramsci already explained why this revolution did not take place in this country we have, we already know now revolution took place in in russia but look at russia was not a industrial society russia was not a industrial society russia was the society it was a feudal society where peasantry was there where farmer was there and only a small section of society was workers and if you look at you know the lenin lenin brought revolution in russia he was very much successful now do you know that you know what he did revolution lenin basically you know prohibited all the opposition party right he prohibited all the opposition parties right so that like like they have bolshevik party there was called menshevik party lenin you know silenced all the oppositions and he led to one party state that is bolshevik party state or bolshevik party revolution you can say that right now if you look at the lenin's work he wrote several texts like what is to be done a state and revolution right then two facts of two track tactics of social democracy then he holds he also wrote imperialism the highest stage of capitalism right he was a very much success leader and he enjoyed unquestionable authority although if you look at karl koski right criticized lenin why karl koski criticized lenin because lenin reinterpreted or you know molded marxism in a different way and that's why his version of marxism is called marxism and leninism what mold he did i will talk about right what he did right mark lenin has you know just you know shaped marxism in in his own way right and one or two thing things is very important like for example he focused about bolshevik party as a vanguard party vanguard party right now if you look at karl marx karl marx did not believe in political party because karl marx believed that political party is a part of a state structure and it is an instrument of exploitation similarly if you look at karl marx did not believe in ideology because karl marx believed that ideology is a you know a false consciousness right which is used to exploit or perpetuate you know to exploit the workers and perpetuate the bourgeois class authority now if you look at you know lenin was very famous right he succeeded bolshevik revolution in 1917 now if you look at in 1949 there was a 1949 mao was successful mao was successful on the line of lenin if you look at you know 1959 when cuba got now yeah 
when Cuba got 1959. When you say that in Cuba there is a revolution, communist revolution. In 1941-9 there was a communist revolution in China. Now, if you look at communism become very prominent, and till 1950, Lenin was unquestionable authority. Even during the, you know, even in the Marxist camp, those people who believe that he is a Marxist, they are not questioning Lenin. Only few question नहीं करते Lenin को. वो मानते हैं कि Lenin सही था, right? Lenin सही था. And if you look at the Lenin molded his idea, and that's why, if you look at, you know, it, they were called Marxist-Leninist because they molded the idea, right? What molded the idea? Few idea I would like to talk about, right? First idea I'll talk about the idea of Vanguard Party. The Vanguard Party, right? Now, if you look at Marx. Marx did not believe in political party. In political party, why? Right. Marx did not advocate it for you know did not believe in did not advocate for for political party. Did not. Advocate for political party. Why? He thinks that that political party is a you know part of superstructure. Super a structure, and they exploit. You know, workers. Marx did not believe in ideology. Now here, Lenin is different from Karl Marx. Lenin believed that political party is a very, very important. Why political party is very important? Because if you look at the society, if you look at the Russia, Russia was a vast territory. Russia had. A vast territory, and there was the only you know industrial proletariat, the working class, right? They were very much fragmented. Some were there here, some were there there, some were there, right? So they were not consolidated. They were not you know uh, they had no consciousness of the entire revolutionary movement in Russia. Right, they were very much concerned about the local economic grievances. Mali, Russia ka territory बहुत बड़ा है, right? अब कुछ workers वहाँ पे हैं, कुछ revolutionary वहाँ पे हैं, कुछ वहाँ पर है, कोई contact है, वो भी बहुत कम है. In this context, there should be a national level political organization, right? Whose work is to raise the level of consciousness among the workers and also consolidate them, right? And also raise their consciousness level, right? They make them revolutionary. Who the Vanguard Party? So Marx, Lenin focused on there shall, shall be a one party for. The workers, what he named Vanguard Party, right? He believed only in one party of revolutionary. There cannot be another one. Otherwise, it will be fragmentation. It will be, you know. So we can be united when we will be one. And if you look at, that's why he actually prohibited the Menshevik Party, right? And brought many his uh, portion. Within the Bolshevik organization, right? So he thought that you know there can be a national level organization in Russia for the workers and who will raise the political consciousness, who will consolidate the working 
workers and if you look at this structure of the vanguard party will be like a pyramid if you look at the, the structure of this vanguard party will be like pyramid so at the top level there will be top level leaders you can say the intellectual intellectuals right top level leaders who are fully aware about how to do revolution right so this vanguard party will be like uh, you know a, a pyramid and this vanguard party will be the vanguard vanguard ka matlab kya hota hai vanguard ka wahi wahi sa sahil i am just sahil puch raha hai what is the difference between a uh, vanguard party and bolshevik jo for front pe rehta hai engine jo rail ka engine hai wo vanguard hai aur sare dabbe engine bhi to ek dabba hota hai sahil train ka jo dabba hota hai usme se train ka dabba train to aapne dekha hoga train aise hota hai right aur ये भी एक डब्बा ही है जो हमारा इंजन है बट इसका बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस है समझ में आ रहा है तो वैनगार्ड पार्टी मतलब ऐसा पार्टी जो रिवॉल्यूशन के फोर फ्रंट पे रहेगा यही रिवॉल्यूशन करेगा यही लोगों को नेशनल कॉन्शियसनेस लाएगा यही लोगों को कॉन्सेंट्रेट करेगा यही लोगों को अवेयरनेस लाएगा कि आपका एक्सप्लाइटेशन किस तरह से हो रहा है अदरवाइज लेनिंग यू नो विटनेस दैट द वर्कर्स पेजेंट्री वर वेरी मच कॉन्शियस अबाउट देयर लोकल इकोनॉमिक ग्रबांसेस लेनिंग वाज नॉट इफ यू लुक एट इवन मार्क्स मार्क्स वाज नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट जर्मनी अलोन मार्क्स वाज कंसर्न अबाउट द एंटायर वर्ल्ड look at the the slogan the workers of the world be united tahil clear hai vanguard matlab simple jo front pe rehta hai uske piche sare rehte hain now vanguard party ka jo vanguard party ka jo ye pyramid structure rahega right sab iske member rahenge sab iske member hain सारे वर्कर्स इसके मेंबर हैं अलग अलग लेवल पर सब इसके मेंबर हैं ऑल आर वर्कर्स बट टॉप लेवल जो ले है वो हमारा लीडर्स है जो जिसको उसने इंटेलेक्चुअल बोला है रिमेंबर व्हेन आई टॉक यू मार्क्स इफ यू लुक एट मार्क्स मार्क्स डिड नॉट बिलीव इट इन इंटेलेक्चुअल मार्क्स ने कहा कि इंटेलेक्चुअल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सुपर स्ट्रक्चर दिस बेसिकली क्रिएट एन आइडियोलॉजी for the bourgeoisie to maintain dominance over the worker now if you look at lenin lenin believed that intellectuals are very important right the working class should have their own intellectual the working class should have their own intellectual so that they can inject the revolutionary consciousness among the workers he witnessed that in russia the workers were not aware about revolution the revolutionary zeal was lacking in russia in such context he found who lenin that intellectual is very important the leaders are very important right to unite the person am i making sense right right so if you look at you know lenin lenin talked about that a united communist party in russia is very important that will be the vanguard vanguard of the proletariat what that would be the vanguard of proletariat what does it mean they will be at forefront of the revolution right further stalin had you know extended the idea of vanguard party right 
and if you look at you know the lenin's philosophy he believed that you know only the communist party the vanguard party should insist and led the revolution and that you know leaders should be the pioneer the intellectuals at the top level they are intellectual they are professionals we are very expert in revolution they are professionals they are very expert in revolution right and workers want it workers pro- need professionals workers needs intellectuals workers need you know leaders right and if you look at the leaders and worker professionals job is to inject working class consciousness are they organic intellectual yes they are organic intellectual gramsci has talked about organic intellectual not the lenin right not the lenin right so of course they are professionals they are intellectuals and of course for the working class intellectuals they are working class intellectuals so of course in in gramsci term they are organic intellectual very good anupma right now vanguard party ka kaam kya rahega what will be the functions and job of the vanguard party acha ye samajh mein aaya itna vanguard party ka idea chavinder shahi lal chandra sa anupama and everyone did you get the idea of vanguard party chavinder shahi and look at the mao 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 followed uh, lenin that's why in china there is only one party in china there is only one party in north korea there is only one party in china there is uh, russia there is only one party right one more time please okay chandra sir now what do you mean by vanguard party those who have understood it the idea of vanguard party yeah those who have understood it right what is this vanguard party this this ne yes yes kaha hai sabko thoda thoda batana padega that that you know this is the way that i'll get to know that yes you have received the idea those who remain at the forefront in leading the movement mobilizing masses very good very good what the group of people working at forefront that is leaders in bolshevik party not leaders in bolshevik party the bolshevik party now yeah chavinder anupama lal at the point yeah you people everyone make a one one point then i can to guide the movement and provide leaders very good very good if you look at lenin you know if you look at telephos marx this is analytical understanding marx you know did not advocate for the party marx believed that political party is a part of superstructure right and they are instrument for the bourgeoisie to exploit the working class unlike marx if you look at you know unlike marx lenin believed in political party now why there is a reason if you look at marx understanding 
For Marx, workers are fully conscious consciousness about the exploitation of their self, themselves. For Marx, in industrial society, workers are fully you know conscious about their exploitation and they will consolidate they will you know they will uh, will organize and they will they shall launch a revolution collectively now for lenin you know the workers are not fully conscious about their exploitations and they are very much you know have grievances for the local economic interests right and if you look at marx you know unlike marx lenin believed that in political party and he argued and he thought that there should be one party there should be one party for the working class right what he called vanguard party he said there will be one party for the all workers what he called vanguard party now what would be the job of this party if there is one party what will be the job of the one party what is the objective of one party what is the objective of this party right what is the basic objective of the party right creating a national level organizations and a national level consciousness to create a national level consciousness right among worker class among working class about exploitation ye pehla kaam hai ki consciousness create karna hai bade level pe pure desh ke level pe dusra kaam hai to consolidate worker to consolidate working class to consolidate working class right teesra kaam hai teesra kaam hai you know inject revolutions right they should be at the forefront of the revolution making sense chandra sa lal the work is and that's why he allowed bolshevik party and he banned all the other party like manchevik party so he gave the party you know idea of one party state or one party revolution what he named called quote and quote the vanguard party right this vanguard party is very important for working class revolution not only in russia but everywhere in the world what lenin thought unlike marx right and this communist party will act as a vanguard vanguard means engine engine of revolution right got the idea it will give training to the workers it is it will spread ideology now the structure of the vanguard party will be the paramedical if you look at the structure of the vanguard party what will be the structure of the vanguard party the structure of the vanguard party will be like 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 this a paramedical right and all workers will be the member of this vanguard party all members right all members will be the member now at the top level there will be you know leaders 
and this leaders like it would be who would be the leader intellectual professionals because they are mostly aware about the objective of revolution right the matter of revolution and this is the vanguard party this vanguard party will be capable to fight for the interest of the working class if you look at this vanguard party this vanguard party shall be capable to fight for the interest of the working class right vanguard party will clearly articulate you know the political interest and economic interest of the workers they will make the economic and political programs for the workers for the revolution which is necessary and if you look at the vanguard idea of vanguard party that you know brought many criticism from many scholar that i'll talk about criticism later on but did you get the idea of vanguard party now anupama chandrasa everyone lenin's idea of vanguard party pakana sahil rest the text you have already text sab kuch likha hua jo bhi maine aapko bola sab kuch text mein likha hua hai even a single word i have not spoken beyond the text which i had already given to you right written notes hmm? now if you achieve the vanguard party now this vanguard party has been you know criticized the idea of vanguard party has been criticized why vanguard party has been criticized because if you look at the vanguard party lenin created elitism look at leaders who would control the revolution so basically if you look at lenin has created the culture of elitism right lenin idea lenin idea of vanguard party has created the culture of elitism right what the idea now because the, these professionals will have all power in this vanguard party look at how stalin become uh you know very much authoritarian because he was the leader head of the vanguard party right so this elitism is very dangerous right that may lead to authoritarianism right this elitism now who, who is it rosa luxembourg was made this criticism rosa luxembourg you know no offer this criticism now if you look at leon not leon trotsky leon trotsky was not critical to lenin yes karl kosky now karl what karl kosky talked about karl kosky described lenin version of socialism as a bad act socialism right karl kosky you know described lenin version of socialism as barrack socialism ab barrack mein kya hota hai kabhi dekha hai barrack hai barrack mein upar wala command marta hai aur niche wale sab follow karte hain kabhi barrack dekha hai military barrack ncc barrack have you ever watched barrack matlab मूवी तो देखी होगी बैरेक वाला कैडेट थम सब थम हो गया कैडेट सावधान सब सावधान हो गया नाउ हु इज दिस पर्सन हु इज कमांडिंग द लीडर द इंटेलेक्चुअल नाउ इफ यू लुक एट ही लर्निंग सब्जुगेटेड द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वर्किंग क्लास अंडर द intellectuals so called leaders 
intellectual that led to the authoritarianism in Russia. Now Stalin become very much authoritarian, right? Lenin knew that. Lenin, Lenin was, you know, when Stalin assumed power, right? Lenin only left, left, you know, very short life he had after the revolution. He knew the workers, of course, had achieved a revolution, a great revolution. Russian revolution was a great, but workers had no culture of ruling. They had no art of ruling. And that is why workers had, had become authoritarian. Stalin was the example. Stalin nahi hota, koi aur hota. Right? So this the Lenin had created. Right? There is one question from Shavinder. If all role is being played by the Vanguard party, then what is role of the Bolshevik party? The Bolshevik party was a Vanguard party, man. Shavinder. Vanguard party idea hai. Bolshevik party reality thi. Bolshevik party was a reality. It was in practice. Vanguard party is the idea. Ki there should be one party for revolution. Like Bolshevik party in Russia. Like there should be one party in China. Only one party. Like Communist Party of China is one party. Samaj mein aya? So why Bolshevik party was created? Why its role? Oh, samaj mein aya. Vanguard party matlab hai ki ek party. Vanguard matlab ek hi party hone chahiye. Kisi kahin par bhi revolution karna hai, to ek party hona chahiye. Aur us party ka kaam hai, right, ki national level consciousness ko raise kare, national level pe logo ko organize kare, political and economic program banaye, sab ke liye. So what is the last two words on slide? Konsa last? Ye barak socialism. It's barak. Main kabhi kabhi likta hai, isi hum. Mere writing bhoat garbar hai. Barak socialism. समझ में आया ये काल कॉस्टकी ने क्रिटिसिज्म दिया था आया समझ में चंद्र सा अनुपमा डी डू गेट द आइडिया बैरक में क्या होता ऊपर से कमांड मारते हैं लोग रोजा 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 का क्रिटिसिज्म अच्छा रोजा ने ये कहा रोजा हां Rosa ke naam pe mujhe movie ka naam yaad aa gaya Rosa ek movie bhi hai have you watched this movie is uh, actually filmed on uh, some episode in Kashmir as anyone who have watched Mani Ratnam's movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mani Ratnam's it's a good movie it's it's excellent one one of my favorite anyway Rosa was uh, Rosa Luxemburg who was from a uh, police Poland, right? And Rosa Luxemburg criticized idea of vanguard party. Why? Because if you look at Marx, Marx talked about workers. All workers are same. In Marx socialism, all workers, there is no hierarchy in the, among the workers. There is no hierarchy among all our workers in Marx's idea. And that's why he believed there should be no such a hierarchized party. Right? But if you look at the vanguard party that was created by uh, Lenin, right? Lenin advocated this party shall be controlled by leaders, intellectual. Right? So when you know you make a you know five people as a leader, right? Of the all, it means you have subjugated all the working class. Under these leaders, you have created a hierarchy, isn't it? Chandrasa, you have created a hierarchy. होता है कि नहीं? मान लीजिए हम लोग यहाँ पर हैं और मैं आप आप मुझ सब मुझे आप मुझे सुपीरियर मानते हैं सुपीरियर मानने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है. We all are equal, right? यहाँ बच्चों वाली बात नहीं है. बच्चों 
you all are not my bachcha you all are my friend i can treat you best and you can treat me best when we all are friend treat each other as a fellow right yeah so this look this hierarchy created elitism na this leaders are elitist when you create hierarchy then there will be elitism definitely there will be elitism उस लीडर से मिलने के लिए बहुत सारा अप्रोच लगाना पड़ेगा डज इट हैपन तो दिस इलिटिज्म बेसिकली वर्चुअली वर्चुअली लेड टू द अथॉरिटेरियनिज्म व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू क्रिएट इलिटिज्म इलिट डिसाइड्स एवरीथिंग एंड व्हेन इलिट डिसाइड्स एवरीथिंग दे डिसाइड्स अकॉर्डिंगली ऑन देयर विश एंड देयर विंग्स right this so this is a one idea of the the lenin making sense the another idea i'll talk about his idea of democratic centralism lenin's idea of democratic centralism so very much the, the idea of democratic centralism is very much related to the idea of vanguard party now if you look at you know lenin lenin made the communist party as a vanguard party of the working class a revolutionary party for the working class and he advocated certain structure and organization of the party that i have talked about that its structure would be like this a pyramid right right and it will follow the democratic centralism it will follow the idea of democratic centralism ye idea unko follow karna hai kaun se vanguard party ko iska matlab kya hua agar hum thoda simple mein bole to isko hum break kar lete hain democratic means there will be discussion there will be debate right there will be debate on each and every topic so he talked about this party will discuss each any event any things will be discussed at each layers of the party each layers of the party of course among intellectuals there will be different level of debate among the you know lower level of the people and at the grassroots level there will be different level of debate so there should be debate but when once decision are made at the top that decision should be implemented strictly there should be no dissent that is called centralism so democracy means any any idea any issue can be discussed in the party at each layer of the organization right but when right but when the decision are already taken by the top it's not that top will not take the consideration of the bottom level of course the leaders will also un- try to understand the discussion at the bottom level and each layers but when the top level leaders have already taken decision that shall be implemented there will be centralization there shall be centralization the higher organs of the party shall you know implement the decisions taken by samajh mein aaya jab ek baar decision le liya jayega to usko strictly impose kiya jayega samajh mein aaya democratic centralism kuch bhi nahi hai a simple idea Yeah, Shahil, did you get the idea? Shavinder, everyone, Anupama, what about you? We talked about Vanguard Party and its structure and organization and how it will function, right? In this process, he had given idea of democratic centralism. If we break this democratic centralism into democratic means each party there shall be, you know. at each layer of the party there shall be free discussion debate on 
on any national international local issues right and if you look at the at each at each stage the leader shall be elected one third stage pe leader elected hoga but party ek hi hogi party ke andar hi election hoga right at each layers of the party there will be election within the party right there should be discussion at all level of organization right from lowest to highest but when decision is taken at the top when decision is taken at the top it will be strictly imposed till the bottom level look at the party of china and party of uh, russia there is no two party there is only one party and within party there is a election there is a election they like presently happening in china presently happening in russia right north korea maybe naam ke liye hai yes yes you are right chandra sir samajh mein aaya nahi samajh mein aaya democratic centralism aa gaya shavinder very good everyone is understood very good very good everyone uh, chalo bahut aa gaya bahut badhiya bahut badhiya bahut badhiya getting it okay now वन लेनिन आइडिया बेसिकली आज तक नहीं पूछा है और पूछने की संभावना क्या कहेंगे कम है वन बेसिक थीरी दैट लेनिन हैज गिवन एंड दैट थीरी वाज द थीरी ऑफ इंपेरलिज्म राइट सो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट डेमोक्रेटिक सेंट्रलिज्म यू हैव ऑलरेडी नॉट्स इन द इन विथ यू रीड इट इवन आई हैव नॉट स्पोकन अ सिंगल वर्ड आउटसाइड ऑफ द नॉट्स राइट सो सारा चीज उसी में है ना वन थिंग दैट ही डिस्कस इंपेरलिज्म नाउ ही टॉक अबाउट ही रोट टेक्स बेसिकली इन 1916 जस्ट वन ईयर बिफोर द रशियन रिवॉल्यूशन इंपेरलिज्म द हाइएस्ट स्टेज ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म highest stage of capitalism if you look at capitalism during the marx time or in the 17th uh, 18th and till 19th century right or till you know 17th century if you look at imperialism uh, you know the capitalism sorry capitalism in the west capitalism kar kya rahi thi capitalism was producing ये प्रोडक्शन में इन्वॉल्व थी और सेलिंग में इन्वॉल्व सेलिंग में इन्वॉल्व राइट प्रॉफिट में इन्वॉल्व थी बट विद इन इट्स ओन कंट्री अपने कंट्री में अपने कंट्री में इन्वॉल्व थी हुआ क्या बाद में राइट द यू नो प्रॉफिट ड्रिवेन जी यू नो the capitalist started going to the other country other country now what happened they had because they wanted new market they wanted new market raw materials right in this process they established colony look at india right they established colony so if you look at you know he he talked about when you know capitalism has traveled to another country it established you know imperialism what happened now when capitalism has entered into another country they also established factory over here 
ओके गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज तो आ ही रहे थे बाद में क्या किया उन्होंने वहीं पर फैक्ट्री डाल दी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडिया में टेक्सटाइल फैक्ट्री इन अनदर कंट्री देर सो मेनी फैक्ट्री नो दिस यू नो दिस दिस फाइनेंस कैपिटल दिस फाइनेंस कॉल फाइनेंस कैपिटल डायरेक्ट गुड्स नहीं ट्रांसपोर्ट करना है आपको अपने पैसा लगा के यहाँ पर लेकर Now this is the highest stage of capitalism. Why is it so? Because if you look at, you know, there was a working class within the West. अपने देश में ही केवल वर्क करते, आपने वर्कर यहाँ भी पैदा कर दिया. आपने वर्कर्स यहाँ भी पैदा कर दिया. Workers यहाँ भी है, workers यहाँ भी है. Right? अब जब workers पूरी दुनिया में फैलेगी, तो पूरी दुनिया के workers एक हो जाएंगे जैसे मार्क्स ने कहा था राइट एंड दे विल रिवोल्ट अगेंस्ट कैपिटलिज्म दे विल थ्रो आउट कैपिटलिज्म ऑल्टुगेदर बिकॉज कैपिटलिज्म इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ एक्सप्लोइटेशन एंड ऑपरेशन राइट कैपिटलिज्म ऑलवेज यू नो ट्राई टू प्रोड्यूस ओनली फॉर द प्रॉफिट So according to Lenin, if you look at you know the capitalist, you know always search for new territory. Now what is what is World War One? If you look at World War One, what was World War One? It was the only capitalist country who were involved in fighting. Why is it so? Because of the you know they had more claim over the more colony, right? They have. More claim on resources, and you know, they were all profit. If you look at Alliance and Atente in First World War, right? This cap- competitive capitalism, right, led to the First World War One, right? What the idea? So he talked. He talked about this imperialism, which has already capitalist has established. in another country it is a highest it is it is a last stage of capitalism capitalism is going to smash everywhere now it is a russia i'm talking about main 1916 mein le gaya hu main aapko 1917 mein now it is in russia tomorrow somewhere else there will be revolution everywhere making sense right Yeah. What about this is imperialism, highest stage of capitalism? Marx ne bas kabel us desh ki baat ki thi. Lenin puri dunia ki baat kar raha hai. Ki how capitalism has exported, you know, finance capital. It's called finance, matlab paisa. Right? It has actually invested in industry in third world for more profit. because aap when you are producing your own country your cost is high but when you have set up the industry in india you have raw material here you have work, low wages workers here you have market here everything is here what you can benefit rupaiya the finance that you can benefit from here look at amazon what amazon is doing is amazon producing anything or any company coca cola is coca cola is manufactured in europe america and then sent to india for selling tell me hota hai kya coca cola kahan produce hota hai shavinder do you drink coca cola or any whiskey or wine any beer any any product for this for the name anubama do you think all are all are maximum pr- are produced in india right the raw material are indians the labor are indians the you know buyers are indians what this multinational company get profit money the finance i'm making sense so he was analyzing 
कैपिटलिज्म इन 1970 मैंने जस्ट रिलेट कर दिया आपको करंट कंटेम्प्रेरी टाइम से आई जस्ट रिलेटेड टू द कंटेम्प्रेरी टाइम लेनिन वाज राइटिंग इन 1960 एंड ही टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस इंपीरियलिज्म इज द हाईएस्ट स्टेज ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म कैपिटलिज्म यू नो दिस टाइम टू कोलैप्स वर्ल्ड वाइड एज मार्क्स हैड आल्सो एडवोकेटेड द वर्कर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यूनाइट हम्म समझ में आया लेनिन खत्म हो गया इंपेरलिज्म सर इंपेरलिज्म व्हाट इज इट अच्छा इंपेरलिज्म भी समझ नहीं अच्छा मैं बताता हूं इंपेरलिज्म क्या होता है राइट देयर इज वन वर्ड कॉल कोलोनियलिज्म वेरी गुड अच्छा क्या सवाल पूछ लिया देयर इज वन वर्ड कोलोनियलिज्म अनदर वाज कॉल्ड इंपेरलिज्म what is colonialism colonialism is a you know a relationship of one country over the other where the one country exploit economically other right it is a relationship between two country where the relationship is a relationship of economic exploitation this is called imperialism a uh, sorry colonialism now if you look at the british U- uk or east india company uk mat boli east india company they came india as a trader but recent in a due course of time they got some farman some permission to not only trade with india but also collect revenue so they established colonialism first right they started exploiting india economically but in the due course of time what happened they also defeated the political power they defeated political power like 1757 plassey war 1764 boxer war if you have heard about this if you have little history idea of history right so basically if you look at the british power what was not exploiting india economically but they had also politically controlled the entire territory now this military defeat of indian kings or the indian kingdom has given political control over india now now british become an empire and we become their colony still were colony yes india was a colony but british has how british has established empire over india this is called imperialism when one country establish political economic social dominance over the other country it is known as imperialism however on the other hand when one country establishes economic exploitation right exploitative relations over the others it is called colonialism so if you look at the uk uk had first established colonialism over india and successfully in due course of time they had established imperialism right shavinder imperialism is a military conquest over others not simply military conquest man lo ki kal russia matlab russia ne uh, ukraine ko kabza kar liya imperialism mein cheeze hai yes पॉलिटिकल कंट्रोल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल एवरीथिंग कंट्रोल हो सकता है जब हम कॉलोनिज्म बोलते हैं तो इकोनॉमिक कंट्रोल होता है इंडिया गॉट अचीव द इंडिपेंडेंस लुक एट नाउ वी आर अंडर द न्यू कॉलोनिज्म इवन आफ्टर द इंडिपेंडेंस आफ्टर द पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 राइट सॉरी इन द पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 लुक एट द थर्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर थर्ड वर्ल्ड वी आर इकोनॉमिकली डिपेंडेंट ऑन 
the first world like us europe uk our economic relations are not based on equal exchange so there are it's called neo colonialism yes there is no imperialism but yes neo colonialism are still there whereas colonialization is taking economy of a nation and then draining the wealth of a nation from benefit of their own country yes 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 savinder you are right still still if you look at you know india india is a, a new colony a kind of colony for the multinational company according to the marxists right we are talking about lenin samajh mein aa raha hai imperialism and colonialism kya hai basic word samajh mein nahi aayega to theory kaun se samajh mein aayegi chandra sa got the idea imperialism what it is right anupma tahi lal hmm so let me give you 5 minute break and then we will move to stalin right we'll talk about stalin but just after five minutes happy raksha bandhan to everyone i hope you have celebrated it especially shavinder was very excited and enthusiastic about celebration right this is a very you know a uh, very special occasion but i have some critique to the raksha bandhan will address you later you know if you look at yes the sister does not needs protection yeah and this is a responsibility of man you know not only you know respect women but also protect them but at the same time women needs recognition and equal property rights in reality women does not get women are not getting equal property right mujhe bataiye milta hai ki nahi milta hai is it that women are getting equal property right from their father kal hi raksha bandhan toot jayega wo right there shall be breaking in relationship let me tell you in brother and sister and brother will be the first who will revolt against the sister anupama tell me am i saying something wrong here chavinder sir i am an only child that's a fine see anupama uh, you must be living in city but you even look at look at the villages even the single daughter does not get property right property right goes to niece oh, sorry my property right goes to nephew not to niece not to the daughter but it is our culture closely tied with our value a hey, shavinder property nahi dena kahan ka culture hai bhai If you look at Indian society, our culture is predominantly, you know, directed or dictated by patriarchy, caste. Oh, no, I respect Raksha Bandhan. I don't. I, I don't. You know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not taking. See, Raksha Bandhan is good. We should must celebrate it. I'm talking about property right. I'm raising some question. The hedge में तो property देते हैं. मैंने देखा है. कौन the hedge मांगता है? Property right देना शुरू करो ना. The hedge के कारण कितनी सारी problem होती है. Right, sir. You are getting economic determinist. <laughs> no, 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 no. Economy is a very essential part, but not. 
I'm not determining only economy. Of course, culture is a part. You know, social relation is a part. Shavinder is just asking, age jandak. There is a culture of sharing thirty percent with sister also. What is jandak? Shavinder, the concept of Sridhan ended after Islamic attack on India. Oh, what is this Sridhan? Sridhan. Okay. It might be J N K. Okay. In J N K, there is a culture of sharing thirty percent with sister. Also, that it's good. We must share, right? Like for brother, we share property. We share property, right? We must not share property. Many we share many things. Fine. <clears throat> anyway, so I have talked about you know uh, Lenin and his idea of Vanguard Party, his idea of democratic centralism. Now I'll talk about Joseph Stalin. You all know Joseph Stalin. He brought अभी भी दे देते हैं स्त्री धन अभी भी देते हैं चंद्रा चंद्रा सा अभी भी नॉर्थर्न इंडिया पीपल गिव टू डॉटर समथिंग बट नॉट हाफ ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट मॉडर्निटी यू नो मॉडर्निटी इज अबाउट इक्वालिटी मॉडर्निटी इज अबाउट रेशनैलिटी Modernity is about enlightenment. Modernity is about you know considering someone as a individual. Same mother, same father and brother killed sister, right? When she loves to someone from different caste. For example, of Anjali, recently she had been killed by father and sister because she, you know. He acted as a free individual. Chandra sir, am I making sense to you? My point is something different, right? So you must celebrate all all festivals, but we must give recognition to individual, right? Must at least become modern, right? We must give value to individualism, freedom. Equality, है ना? That is liberalism. Yes. What is the modernity? Modernity, modernity is the liberalism. Liberalism brought modernity. Right. Anyway, let me talk about Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin brought, you know, very much. Uh, Totally different characteristics in socialism, right? He was a great dictator, great dictator. When I taught you Hannah Arendt, I told you that not only Hitler but Gramsci also used ideology as a something which is absolute truth, which is essential, right? Gramsci mobilized people, not Gramsci. Uh, sorry, Stalin. Stalin mobilized people on Marxist ideology, the socialist ideology, in Russia, right? And he had given one idea: socialism in one country. socialism in one country what is this idea socialism in one country right initially this uh, idea was developed by you know bukharin nikolai bukharin who was also socialist now in 1924 of course that by this time 
Lenin was already dead. Lenin was already Lenin died in 1921. Joseph Stalin talked about socialism in one country. What do you mean by socialism in one country? Stalin thought that let Russia be a model for the other country. Let socialism first establish in Russia, communism first establish in Russia, and let this model of communism should be the example for other country. Right? We must develop socialism in one country, like in Russia, like a self-sufficient economy, local life, production for the need of the masses. So socialism can be established in one country, right? Without exporting it to the worldwide socialist revolution. Now, if you look at, you know, Stalin, Stalin established five-year plan in 1928. You know five-year planning? We have, India also brought five-year planning, right? The planned program of development. Now, in 1928, Stalin brought this five-year plan and economic development plan. And if you look at what was the result, Russia witnessed rapid growth, rapid industrialization, right? Rapid industrialization that Russia had, and there was a total eradication of the unemployment. Stalin abolished private property, totally abolished private property, everything he took under the command of the state, right? Now, if you look at from 1929, agriculture was collectivized in Russia, right? Soviet, Soviet Union farmers or Russian farmers were compelled to give up their individual claim. Everything was nationalized, right? Nationalization of farm, you know, land. Right? When he did it, 1929. Now, this witnessed a rapid growth in economy. Now, if you look at in 1929, when the entire world was facing great depression that we have already talked about some time, when the entire world was facing great depression, Russia was happy, happy. Russia was happy, happy. There was no even impact of great depression on Russia. Employment was sufficient for everyone, for male, for female. It was an equal society. Right? Now, if you look at everything was taken into a state command. A state had taken command on everything. On everything. Everything means the social, economic, political, administration, everything is there. This is a state-led socialism. Right? Now, if you look at, it's not Stalin did not face criticism. Stalin did not face opposition. Stalin did not face, you know, um, should say that, you can say that uh, opposition, of course. But what Stalin did to oppose opponent? What Stalin did to opponent? Stalin used brutality against opponent. Right? Even against those who were suspected of being critical. Suspected of being, you know, being opposed to the socialism. Right? He become he had become increasingly violent. Look at Leon Trotsky was, if you look at Leon Trotsky was supporting this. All, everything was supporting by the Leon Trotsky. The initial violence. Right? What Leon Trotsky was not supporting? Trotsky was not in support of socialism in one country. It was basically, you know, violation of 
the Marx and Lenin idea. Look at Marx. Marx was in favor of revolution worldwide. Lenin was Lenin was in favor of worker class movement, worker class, working class revolution worldwide. Now, what Joseph Stalin is talking about? Socialism in one country in Russia. This is a direct, you know, basically betraying of the Marxism. It is betraying of the Marxism. Right? If you look at this was not liked by Leon Trotsky. Right? And Leon Trotsky wrote a book called Revolution Betrayed. If you look at, he wrote a book, Revolution Betrayed. Where he criticized Stalin. Where he criticized Stalin. Now, what happened to Leon Trotsky? Stalin killed Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky left Russia and he moved to Mexico so that he can live safely. You know, the, Stalin sent his spy, the secret police, to the Mexico to kill Leon. Finally, Leon was killed in there. Right? Now, if you look at when Lenin, uh, uh, there is a one question by Sahil. What does it mean Stalin started exporting revolution to Eastern Europe? Yeah. When, you know, first he gave the idea of socialism in one country and socialism fully developed uh, in Russia. Now, later on, what happened, you know, the Russia ha or you, that time it had become USSR because it had taken, you know, a little more area. It changed its name, basically. Now, it had started promoting and patronizing socialism in its neighborhood, Eastern Europe. Right? By 1934, 1935, 1936, now it started exporting socialism in another country. For example, Korea, for example, you know, uh, Eastern Europe, for example, China. Hmm. Making sense, Sahil? So, of course, Stalin started, you know, exporting socialism in another country like Eastern European countries, now Korea, China, now look at Mao. Do you think that Mao was not influenced by Lenin? Mao was finally influenced by Lenin. Right? What the idea, Sahil? Now I'll talk about, so we had already talked about Stalin. Stalin is not here. Stalin is one story. Socialism in one country. Initially started by Bukharin and later actually he developed the idea that you know we should develop socialism in one country as a model, right? And as an example for the another country. We should, you know, abolish private property, we should establish equality, you know, we should nationalize private property, all the land, right? So he started you know five-year plan, planned economic development. He nationalized land in 1929, right? Everything was under state command, right? That was his idea. And if you look at, you know, he was criticized by Leon Trotsky that this is a betray of the Marx. This is a betray of the Lenin. Lenin talked about the workers of the world. Lenin promoted workers movement around the globe. Marx talked about workers' movement around the globe. Slogan was, workers of the world unite against capitalism. So our fight is against capitalism. Our fight is not capitalism in Russia. If you look at Stalin, Stalin actually tried to establish communism in Russia and he got lots of opposition, lots of criticism. And let me tell you, he has 
he had not you know let every anyone go free no millions people he killed he stabbed you know he used violence and terror right terror by his secret police and secret police name was nkvd right joseph stalin become a uh, you know totalitarian dictator he also basically you know put millions of people in labor camp right or it is called gulag gulag bolte hain or labor camp look at you know china china has also one camp called education camp hitler had created that camp right got the idea so we have studied a uh, stalin done स्टालिन में और कुछ नहीं है पढ़ने लायक कैसा लगा समझा अच्छे से या एवरी वन डिड यू गेट आइडिया यस 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 लाल वट अबाउट यू अनुपमा एवरीवन ठीक है तो हम ऑर्थोडॉक्स मार्क्सिज्म में हमने लेरिन खत्म किया हमने स्टालिन खत्म किया हमारे पास दस मिनट है दस मिनट कम है माओ को बताने के लिए बट आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट एंड आई विल टॉक अबाउट माओ इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ कोर्स माओ दे ग्रेट रिवॉल्यूशनरी ऑफ एशिया Now, if you look at Mao, was the first person who brought revolution in Asian society. Right? Savinder is asking. Let's revise previous and Mao in the next class. We'll do that. We'll do that. Don't worry. Now, if you look at Mao, I'll tell you a basic thing. Mao brought revolution in Asia. He was the first man. If you look at where Marx is talking about Europe, if you look at Marx is talking about revolution, you know, revolution in Europe, right? and lenin brought it to russia which is a part of europe of course that russia was a part of europe but of course not developed as as the western europe was developed but look at mao mao brought revolution in china was china a capitalist society if you look at mao developed revolution against capitalism but he brought this man brought revolution in china of course on the basis of marxism and leninism but without capitalism there is no capitalism in china so if you look at the industrialization the industrial growth is was not enemy to china what was the you know enemy to china चाइना के लिए सबसे बड़ा इनिमी कौन सा था अगर आप देखोगे कैपिटलिज्म वॉज नॉट प्रॉब्लम इन चाइना कैपिटलिज्म था ही नहीं तो प्रॉब्लम क्या होगा राइट दो चार इंडस्ट्री से कैपिटलिज्म नहीं आती है द बेस्ट यू नो द चाइनाज प्रॉब्लम वॉज फ्यूडलिज्म एंड चाइनाज प्रॉब्लम वॉज इंपेरिज्म और उसे फॉलोरिज्म China was economically exploited by the Western Europe, and there was a feudalism in China. There was a two enemy of China. Similarly, India. Look at India. There was no capitalism in India during British time. Even 
till the you know india got independent what was the problem in india if you look at india's problem india's problem is not capitalism in 1950 its problem was feudalism and its problem was imperialism this was the problem of india now we do not have such person like mao but mao brought revolution in china we had no such any person like mao in china oh, so my in india right he brought revolution in china he established a uh, chinese communist party in 1936 and you know he brought peasantry into revolution china was a purely agrarian society like india right making sense so tomorrow we'll talk about the, the how this person mao brought revolution and how he analyze marxism in context of asiatic society like china who was purely an agrarian society rather than capitalist society right so even you know when china was formed as a, in 1949 it did not oppose capitalism it did not oppose industrialization there was already look at the indian uh, china's economy it you know it's the second largest economy in the world right so you know we'll talk about mao mao of course mao had also reinterpreted marxism because the context was different right thing was different and look at in india in india people think the similarly right we'll talk about it in there may be maoism hai suna hai maoism have you heard about maoism in india no nationalism is something different and nationalism is a, yeah the right wing extremism no anupama it's a left wing extremism extremism mao means you know those who believe in mao philosophy और माओ फिलो माओ का फिलोसफी क्या था माओ की एक ही फिलोसफी थी पावर कम्स टू दैरल राइट पावर कम्स थ्रू बैरल ऑफ गार्ड विल टच इट अपॉन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास गुरेला वार पैर यस यस गुरेला वार पैर So I'll talk about Mao, uh, and I'll also talk about Neo Marxism. थोड़ा सा पढ़ के आइएगा, right? Neo Marxism was different from revolutionary Marxist or orthodox Marxist. Neo Marxist developed in 1950s and 1960s, and basically their focus was not on economy but their culture, right? they focus on culture you know society you know psychology politics right rather than economy if you look at you know the orthodox marxists they focused on economy but new marxists focused on culture society psychology politics and their source of inspiration was of course marx right but gramsci you can say right gramsci was very very much source of inspiration for the neo marxists that we will take up in the next class
oh uh, you know people don't join people come people go it happens chandrasa where when 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 you guys have not joined kesari group till now appun ka psi yaar acha group acha fine hai fine hai it's all right it's all right you know everyone has liberty to join or not to join group mein samajh gaya main group let's give liberty to people hmm hello see you tomorrow Thank mm-hmm. you.